Well, a good Saturday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. This is our tropical update or forecast. If you will, we like to do this every day of the week, even on the weekends here like a Saturday posting on YouTube as well as Fox 26 Houston.com. Love for you to check in with us. I know we got a lot of international uh, viewers, so we're always excited to hear from where you are and what your sort of concerns are. Always leaving some comments. That's a great way to do that. And the good news right now is that things still remain quiet. When we take a look at the Gulf of Mexico, really not much to talk about overall. There is a little bit of a stalled front that's moving across for us folks here in Southeast Texas. That's bringing us some rain. Sometimes you would kind of want to watch that a little bit to see if any sort of tropical formation would want to kick off along that line. Not something that we're concerned with at this point. In general terms, we are going to be increasing our rain chances here in Southeast Texas as we move through the week. But in that bigger picture, though, we're still looking at the tropics to remain very quiet. So the Caribbean again, just not even a whole lot of activity to monitor at this point in time. Everything really under control for uh, for July. Something that is fairly typical for July is a dust pattern that's coming in off of the Saharan and that African dust is really filling in quite nicely, if you will. And that's one of the main reasons why we're still going to push the message that no tropical cyclone formation is expected over the next seven days. Again, that's from the National Hurricane Center and this dust is going to continue to flow in. So this is a, again a kind of a current look at where we're seeing the dust right now. I'm going to switch now to one of our forecast products that will show the future of where we're looking at this as we begin to track some of this dust and you can see this it's continuing to roll off of the coast. Nice, really dense, thick patch here and just continues to move all the way across the Atlantic. And then this other area here that's well out ahead of moving through the Caribbean and into the Gulf. So all that dust just makes it more difficult for a tropical system to form. And that's really been able to sort of dampen things just a little bit here as we move through uh, the end of July. Now, as I mentioned, this is fairly normal for this time of the year. And what's also normal is that we get into August and this dust kind of goes away. We no longer have that sort of holding things back. And so when we get into August, we are still expecting those numbers to increase quite a bit. Now, something I want to remind everybody, of course, we're here daily updating you uh, on what's happening in the tropics. When something is happening, I want to remind you about the Fox 26 weather app. So that's going to be our app. If you go to your favorite app store and you just search Fox 26 weather, you're going to see this app pop up. You're going to be able to download it. And the reason I say that is because you can get tropical updates, tropical, well, tropical information on there, as well as updates that we're giving anything here live in the studio. And then if you go to that radar layer and zoom all the way out to the tropics, you can see anything that's coming with those forecast cones. So when we have a named system, you'll see all of those forecast cones, those f projections on your phone, able to track those and they're updated right away from the National Hurricane Center. While you've got your smartphone out, feel free to punch in at John Dawson Fox 26. You can find me on X, Facebook and Instagram. Instagram is always my favorite, so that's the one I want you to, to definitely. If you only want to follow me on one, that's the one I would encourage you to follow me on. And we always have some information about my Hurricane Gear Test products on Instagram as well. If you're here on YouTube, just search Meteorologist John Dawson. You'll find my YouTube page with all of those videos that we've got. Thanks again for checking in here on Saturday. I'll expect to see you here tomorrow for another update.